morning, DBS family. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's Thursday. Happy Thursday. I mean, you could go listen to the song or you could stick it out with us here for the next half hour on DBS this morning. Like I said, it is Thursday. We're going up for Friday. But you know, ahead of then, we are bringing you great content to make sure that you start off your day right. And speaking of starting off your day right, how about we do so by taking in the morning news highlights? That's our wrap for the morning news highlights. Right now, we are getting ready to head into the rest of the show, which I can say will bring some welcome surprises, including a new segment that will be joining us on DBS this morning, every Thursday here on out. So keep your eyes open for that. We'll be right back. <laughs> If y'all can see anything, right? I usually say I have noodle arms, but Wills has been working on that recently, and I can say we have been seeing results. So here it is, your weekly recap of Carnival Boutte. Metro Records. OZ that. Yo, Mowgli. Do you want your black ones? Make that stop right ones. Bubble don't stop, both force, make it roll, 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 come down like avalanche. Hold on. Make sure your back is flat. Don't throw the water. Flat, it's tinting, it's tinting. Bring it down. Down, down. Let's go. Take your time. Don't let it fall. Don't let it fall. Take your time. Oh! 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 Oh, no, 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 no. Let's go. Oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> so I'm out of my wood. And uh, I don't like to go back on my promises. And I said that if the water spilled, you see, again, you know, Bulls Fit Lifestyle Hotline. Again, if the water spilled, certain exercises have to be executed. And Miss Jacka here spilled the water. All right, let's go. Five burpees. That's it. All right, jump. Let's go. Let's go. We're not jumping, just standing up. Two, down. Let's go. Jump. Up, down. Four. Let's go. Stand up. One more. Good job. Excellent. Walk it out. Walk it out. Okay, that makes your blood flow. All right. For sure. Come on, 15 pulses. Let's go. Come on, let's finish strong. Go down, finish strong. Finish strong. One, lower, three, four, five. Take your time, six. How are you guys feeling? I feel good. You feel good? Yeah. From last week? How is your training? What about you, your training? I'm okay. Over uh, the weekend, I kept um, little squats thing. You see, to try and um, relax my thighs. I feel like But that's just one week, right? And you have lost weight. Six. Up. Seven. Up. Eight, you done. Let's go. Up. Step into it. Bend forward. And you're pushing forward. Into the next step. That's it. Take your time. Push forward. That's it. In discomfort in your back? No. Let's go. Up. Squeeze. That's five. Let's go. Up. Squeeze. Six. So, today guys, we are about to hit the hard stuff. We're going to hit the metal and the balls. So, you call that metallic balls. <laughs> I look like a koala. Are you, are you there like a koala today? A koala? Yes, a koala bear. Say okay, a puff. It's a puff. It to make it different for everybody. That make it different for everybody? Yeah, it's for everybody different style. I thought I saw one person, you have to keep it simple. Seven. 
and eat. Excellent. Walk forward, walk forward, walk forward, walk forward, walk forward. And squat down. Excellent. Your turn. So we're going to use the ball also as a guide to come in front. <coughs> One. We're going for ten. Two. Three. Four. Let your tippy toes touch your edge. Excellent. Look ahead of your chest out, go down. And up. That's it, one, two. Unless you might have balance. Three. Up. Four. Let's go. Up. Five. One more. Up. And six. How do you have the phone? If you've been bullied, then. Look at the floor. There's plenty of weapons on the floor. You pick it up <laughs> and set it after each other. Or you pick it up and you work out so you can get stronger so you can defend yourself. Which one you want to do? <laughs> Violence versus versatility. <laughs> Which one do you want? You want to get stronger to defend yourself? Or you need to be a coward and pick up stuff and send at other people all the time? The, the both of those things and the violence? No. Take your time. Remember, slow. Beautiful. Two. That's it. Keep your elbows to your side. I want to touch you again, okay? Keep your elbows to your side. Let's go. And full stretch down. Open, stretch it out. You're done. You have the focus, you're getting it done. Watch your concentration. So we're hitting the biceps and we're still hitting the legs at the same time. Still targeting that booty. Still getting it done. Six, we're going for eight. Let's go. One, keep the elbows to the side. Let's go. Two, that's it. Try to go lower. That's it, three. Nice, and two, excellent. When you come up, just give a slight bend in your elbow, that's it. That's it, we're going for 10. Okay, we're down a little bit. Bring down more. That's it. I know you guys will see after that set. We're going to get a quick sip of coffee, tea, juice, and we'll come back for more explosive exercises. Let's get it. So Allison is not a new face to the DBS family. She's actually joining us over on Carnival Boutte, where Will torments us for about an, an hour every day. Yeah. But you know, it's, it's all welcome. I mean, we're seeing progress and it's a great experience with Will Swasher. Wouldn't you agree? I agree. Of course, just in case he's watching. <laughs> <laughs> but for right now, Allison is here in a different capacity. Do you want to tell them what's coming up? Well, we're introducing to you a new segment called Alice Corner. All right. Now, having known Alison for a few years, I know that she is very creative. I mean, she gets into just about everything. If you need something made, this is the girl. And that's what she's bringing across in Alice Corner, your one-stop shop for everything. One-stop shop. Wow. Maybe I'm speaking that into existence. We might see we might see a store friends coming up soon, but your one-stop content center for everything craft related. And from what I understand right now, all eyes are on Father's Day. Yes, everything between this Thursday and up until Father's Day. The last Thursday, you'll be seeing Father's Day gifts throughout the, week, the month, actually. All right, and as a creator, um, I don't recall you having a YouTube channel or anything. So how does it feel getting that platform, I mean, DVS this morning, to um, 
show your art to the world and I mean educate other people on how they could get projects done on their own. Yes, so it's a good experience for me to be on TV. Um, although I thought I would start with YouTube, <laughs> being honest. But it's been a great experience to show the world my art, my crafts, and helping you discover your little passions, even your kids. You know, show the little passions, make it start brewing from young, <laughs> you know? So it's, it's really been fun, and I'm hoping to do more, see more, create more. All right. And Alison, just for some behind the scenes, some background on you. Um, how long, or should I say, how long ago did you awaken this artistic fire within you? Well, I've been creating from a child, as, as long as I know myself. Mm. I've been in popsicle sticks, like Play-Doh, all kind of thing, you know. So it, it was always there, and I just brought it out in different ways. So I did... Um, visual arts at convent throughout my years and I chose it for CX League, I did that, I got a distinction, okay. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and after that I went on to Senecia School of Art and Design to do my level 2 Stephen Q in ceramics, so I'm certified, you know, <laughs> so, <laughs> so although I would like to um, do more, do more of the CVQs, hopefully I can do level 3, mm -hmm. but level 4 is not out yet. But if I can get my hands on that, I will be doing that. But as of right now, just doing what I'm doing right now, it's, it was a lot to get started because, mm -hmm. let's be real, art is kind of expensive, yeah. right? So getting my hands on little things and finding little tricks and little, you know, just to um, bring down the price just a little bit so I could help my friends and help people, mm -hmm. you know, to get... I love gifts. I'm a gift giver, mm -hmm. great gift giver. So I would like, I love helping my friends to gift people because I believe gifting is such a, a great thing to do. Mm -hmm. Where it, you know, bringing a smile to someone's yeah. face, you know, that little make my heart a little, <laughs> you know, joyous and stuff. So that's how I created my first business, which is Ali's Artistry. Okay. You can follow me on Instagram at Ali's Artistry 758. <laughs> yes, so that was the stepping stone. It, was, it all started for a gift. A gift? Yes. A friend of mine contacted me asking mm -hmm. me if I could help her gift someone because everyone knew me for art. For art. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know? That's where you find me majority of the time. So I helped her and then from then, it was just like a help this person and this person and this person and it honestly brought a lot of joy to me so that is why I continue to do it. All right wonderful I think you'll fit right in and I think we can say we are in well qualified hands and that she will continue working on her qualifications and reaching for the stars and everything she's doing. So Alison are you ready for your first episode of Ali's Corner to air right after this commercial break? Yes, I am. I'm very excited and I hope it's received well. All right, DBS family. Well, at the end of the day, you are the judge. I have full faith in Alison. I trust her process and I'll be looking out because, you know, my dad likes gifts too. Father's Day is coming up and she has us covered. As of right now, we're heading to a quick commercial break. When we return, it's Ali's Corner. Good morning, DBS family. My name is Alison Manners, and I just have one question for you. Do you know what you're getting for Father's Day? If not, and you're looking for something reasonably priced that you can do yourself, keep watching. All you'll need is a cup of any size, any color, your choice, a pencil, different sized paint brushes, paint of your choice, markers of your choice, and Mod Podge. If you do not have Mod Podge, you can substitute it with a one-to-one -one ratio of glue to water. Let's begin. First things first, you'll need your cup and you'll need your pencil and you will proceed to sketch on your design. The lead shows up best on lighter color cups. So you will just sketch out anything you would like on your cup 
kids. This is a great exercise for kids of all ages. This is a perfect gift to give to their father. I am writing the word dad in the middle of my mug. And then I will be writing some good quotes like, you're great. I love you. And every word I could think of that reminds me of my dad. Amazing. Smart. And you can go on and on and on. Handsome. Funny. Charming. Special. And the list goes on and on. When you're satisfied with your mug and your design, you can then proceed to adding color, whether that means markers, alcohol-based markers, or paint, acrylic paint, what that is. I will be starting off with paint. I have some black paint in a little plastic container, and I will just be drawing out my dad in the paint. It's okay to mess up and make mistakes as you can wipe it out, scrape it out. This is not permanent as yet. If it's tricky, you can go back and do a second coat. If you make any errors, it is so easy to just clean it up, make your lines precise. So it's okay to be a little messy when painting, because you can just clean it up. I am using a skewer. You could use a toothpick or any sharp object you could also draw if you want your kids could draw little pictures of them and their father or things like that it doesn't have to be words or anything of the sort so right now i'm going to be using a marker to trace the words i wrote in earlier with the pencil You can keep doing this until you feel like your cup is full enough. You can add different colors if you wish. I'm going to add some red. You can stop whenever you feel like it's enough. Okay, so as soon as you're done with your design, you let it dry for 24 to 72 hours, depending how much paint you use. And then when it's completely dry, you will seal it with Mod Podge. If you do not have Mod Podge, you can mix Elmer's glue with one-to-one -one ratio with water and coat the entire mug. When it, you can do two to three coats with that, 
um, ensuring that it's dried in between coats and then you put it in the oven, a cold oven and let it heat up to 350 degrees and you leave it there for half an hour. You're putting it in the cold oven to avoid shattering so it heats up gradually with the stove. You can apply your Mod Podge or your water glue mixture with either a paintbrush or a foam brush, whichever one you have on hand. When you have completed your three layers, then you would put it in the oven and as soon as that's done, you have your perfect Father's Day gift. Alright DBS family, that is a wrap for today's show. I'm so glad that Allison is on board and will be joining us every Thursday. Yes, you can look out for Ali's Corner right here on DBS this morning. For right now, go get ready for the rest of your day. I'm looking forward to seeing some of you out in the streets. Don't be afraid to say hi. I mean, you may not know what Javon looks like yet, but we'll get a chance to put him in front of the camera very, very soon so you could get your eyes into him as well. Go off, have a great day, be safe, see you tomorrow.